everyone, it's Venus and uh, today I decided to do one of these popular videos where you show what you bought at the convenience store in Japan and I would have to say I think that there is a very good reason why there are a lot of videos of people showing what they get at convenience stores because gosh, convenience stores in Japan are exactly as the name says, convenient! Not only convenient but so high quality. I used to live in uh, the UK so we had convenience stores there. Um, I'm actually from Switzerland. Um, that's not Sweden. A lot of people mistake it for Sweden, but Switzerland is that tiny, tiny country next to Germany. They didn't have convenience stores there, so I can only compare the convenience stores in the UK and uh, in Japan. And boy, the quality is so good here. In Japan, there's like ready made lunch boxes and lots of tapas and lots of like variety of drinks and like energy drinks like really fun ones or like even like energy jellies, nutrition jellies, drinks for like when you have a hangover or drinks that you drink before drinking alcohol because you know Japan. You can even buy shampoo, washing detergent and the thing is it's like such a tiny space. It's like and it, it's the size of the living room and they have everything in there. They even sell underwear and socks and towels, bathing towels. Not sure why, but I uh, guess busy people on the go. Today I'm going to show you what I personally often buy at the convenience store. However, this video has already failed because before starting the video, I got hungry and ate half of the stuff. I bought. Let's just ignore it and pretend it didn't happen. So I went to 7-Eleven. What did I get there? Okay, so first of all, I got this weird uh, thing that looks like it's food for astronauts, but it's actually maybe you could eat this in outer space. I'm not sure, but this is like grape sugar, like glucose, pure glucose in the. Uh, aluminium pouch. It kind of helps me get a kick in the morning like it, it's like it's a bit like caffeine um just glucose turns on my brain and I can think better. It's also very easy to consume like you can consume this like in less than 30 seconds just whoo. it also contains vitamins so it's not only because it has niacin, pantotan, vitamin A, vitamin B, vitamin B2, vitamin D, and uh, folic acid. Very healthy. I love this. I almost, I think I buy two of these every day. Uh, so that this is why it's already consumed. Mm. It was still a little bit inside. It tastes like ramune, which I don't think it. Gosh, my lipstick. Ah, I'm gonna sell this for five thousand US dollars. Does anybody want my lipstick covered jelly? No. Okay. <laughs> you can close it and um, then suck on it again. And then close it again. And you're on the go. Great for busy Japan. Even if you weren't busy before, you're definitely gonna um, definitely gonna be busy here. Yes. Another thing I got is chopsticks. No, just kidding. Um, okay, you're gonna think I'm really weird, but it's afternoon here, and this is my afternoon snack. And you're probably <laughs> I'm ashamed of myself, but yeah, I got taco. No, not Mexican tacos. Um, taco, taco butsu. It's called taco butsu. Boiled octopus. Looks like this. It's Real octopus! Yay! I'm not like doing this for the video or something. I really love eating octopus. Mm. So squishy and there's no other taste like octopus. It just tastes like the sea and makes me feel like a mermaid. Once I start eating octopus, I cannot stop. Mm. 
Can you feel the happiness vibrating through your screen? I'm just gonna shamelessly eat octopus in front of you. I just kind of stopped myself. Buying octopus at the convenience store is actually... <coughs> no, don't joke, Venus. Actually quite expensive. So I often get it at the supermarket and uh, cut it up myself. This here is soy sauce with wasabi, which comes in like little packets. Happy Venus. It really is an experience, so if you're in Japan, you should definitely try boiled octopus. Just look at this, it's real octopus. And I think octopuses look so cute with their tiny little nipples all over their body tentacles. I have a feeling that's not how I'm supposed to say it. They're a little sucker. <laughs> okay, this is the last one. Next, this is another one of my favorite snacks. Um, can you guess what it is? No, these are not giant olives. They're pickled plum. Kari kari ume, which means crunchy plums. If you're into Japanese, Cuisine. You've probably heard of umeboshi, which is like a pickled plum, but it is soft. It's like more like marinated and pickled, if you get what I mean. But this one is like pickled, not as soft as umeboshi. It's like a preserved pickled plum. Let's have a look at them. Ah, uh, it smells like pickled plum. This doesn't exist in Europe unless you go to a spe specialty store. But I would say that it smells a lot like vinegar. A bit like flowery vinegar. Well, because plums are fruity. Fruity vinegar is the right word to say. They still have the seed inside of them, so you have to be careful or you'll break your teeth. <laughs> mm. This would make great ASMR. <laughs> mm. I love sour stuff, but this is like really sour. The gummy worms, they're pretty sour. This is something between a gummy worm and a jawbreaker level of sourness, especially because it has still the seed inside, so it's kind of like a natural, healthy jawbreaker. But I like to eat them as a snack while working because they just kind of wake you up and it's healthy, you know, when you're kind of like buggy, fuzzy, and you just eat something like super sour, and it kind of freaks you up. I also like to drink vinegar, with this type of vinegar drink that they sell in Japan um, for breakfast because it just kind of wakes you up and um, it's healthy. Another thing I got and um, already opened is a sugar-free Red Bull. Uh, sugar free because the sugary one is unhealthy, but energy drinks aren't healthy anyway, so Now I just realized I'm not being healthy at all Sometimes just putting your thoughts into words makes you realize how dumb you are. It's kind of a pity I got just rebel for this video, but I just wanted to show you what I usually buy and uh, Not just buy random fun stuff, which I can make another video about, you know? Um, but it's just like what Venus buys when she goes to the convenience store. It's probably all weird stuff, but uh, whatever. <laughs> anyway, it tastes like Red Bull. Awesome! Super informative. <laughs> Next um, is a uh, thing. I love these things here. So this is like um, a cup noodle but much lighter than a cup noodle so it's like not a huge portion it's like more like snack sized it's like a snack sized cup noodle and i got this today for the first time uh it says shio bata which means salty butter and um it contains harusame which is our rice noodles and um like little chunks of egg i don't know <laughs> this is kind of like suspicious i don't know what the egg is made of if it's like a cup noodle um i know artificial eggs um 
And um, the funny thing about this is that it's like a normal like rice noodle soup, but milky. <laughs> I know this is super weird for Japan. Uh, uh, it's probably normal if you heard a lot of, you know, um, you know, stuff about the food here. Yeah, so this is really nice. Um, since I got this, I thought of, I don't know, it's snack time anyway. So let's have a little review of Shiobata Harusame by Ace Cook. Ace Cook sounds like S Cook. Um, Cook Happiness. Yes, Cook. Cook Happiness. So making this is really easy. You just, um, open the cup and here are the dried rice noodles. And then you get this little bag of, um, the dried seasoning. It looks like this. It has a tiny little flower in it. How cute. Then you put the seasoning inside. Shush, 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 shush. Pour hot water on top. And uh, yeah, let it steep for three minutes. It's just. Uh. Oh gosh! Okay, there you go. Woohoo! Can't wait! Three minutes later, and it should be done. Oh, so cute! It has tiny little flowers in it. Can you see them? Just give it a little swirl and voila! Oh my gosh, it does smell like butter. It's so good. You know the um, Nissin cup noodles? The seafood one is actually really yummy if you put milk in it. I know this sounds super strange, but this stuff is actually really good. Like try putting butter or something into your ramen. Well, it depends. Well, this Nissin seafood cup noodle is definitely great with milk. Um, but other ramen are really good with like butter on top of corn. I should really make a video on like different ramen arrangements. That's really good. Tastes like salty butter. It's, it's yummy. It's like, it is, it does taste like butter, but it's like, it's not like, you know, it's not heavy or fatty. It's squishy and soft, but still chewable. It's really nice. I love this. It looks so pretty. Direct. Transparent. Definitely gonna buy this again. Also, I think the little, the tiny flowers. I think they're little Naruto's, little fish cakes. Yes, they are. It's like it's supposed to be an egg. Let's call it mystery egg. Like the mystery meat. Mm. I don't care. It's yummy. It really makes a great snack. Like especially when it's cold outside, like right now. Mm. I'm so gonna buy it again. Mm. What I really love about spring noodles is that they're so lightweight, but they really absorb the flavor of the soup. So the case with uh, spring noodles is that it goes well with soups that have a little bit of a more intense flavor. So like this one's pretty salty, but you don't really notice it because the spring noodles are pretty lightweight and absorb most of the flavor. So it's really good. So you know how I said that there's like literally anything at convenience stores. So there's also a section at the convenience store that has like just coffee and teas, like packages for like home use. So that's really good. Like if you're just, you know, like some tea at home, you can go to the convenience store and get it there. Surprising thing is, it's not that much more expensive than supermarket. Some things are, but it's really not that big of a difference. So in the morning, I like to drink, <laughs> I sound like an old lady, but I like to drink like vinegar drinks or like vitamin C um, drinks or healthy stuff like that. So I've got this 
green lemon tea so it's like green tea and lemon tea in one and it's a supplemented with vitamin C and you can drink it both hot and cold and it also contains honey so that sounds really nice well patches like these I just had like this butter soup so I might get sick if I <laughs> drink um, lemon tea right after having a uh, salty butter soup so I'm gonna stop with that but it's probably really nice and healthy yeah so we can get like stuff for home use as well which is great I think so this one here is actually something I used to get a lot at the convenience store. It is a vitamin drink. Um, it says that this drink contains all the vitamins you need in one day. It's just so good that I actually got an entire package of this on Amazon because I buy it daily. So if you buy it single, like single pack at the supermarket or at the convenience store, it's usually a lot more expensive. But if you buy it as bulk in Amazon, especially like, like obviously if it's something you use daily, then it's a lot cheaper. So I got this entire pack of vitamin drinks and what I do with them is I have this little basket with my medicine that I have to take every morning um, next to my bed and um, I take it together with the vitamin drink and then I'm super healthy. Yay! It's really yummy too and doesn't contain any unnecessary sugar or unhealthy stuff like that. It's just full of vitamins. Loves it. You can literally find this anywhere at any convenience store. And they of course also have exactly this in this little <laughs> aluminum packet um, jelly version. But I prefer the little can ones. Tastes like orange juice. So yeah, that was kind of my um, convenience store haul of what I usually get um, on an almost day-to-day -day basis and um, what else do I get? Um, usually I get like just um, some of the bentos or fried food stuff or snacks or um, sometimes beer. Japanese convenience store sells so much alcohol. If you go to like in, in Europe, like no store like or convenience store sells that much alcohol. It's like pretty much insane. It ranges from whiskey bottles to a selection of wine bottles to beer to all sorts of things. Drinking here is a big thing. It's like convenience stores are so tiny but they have so much stuff. One haul isn't really enough to show you what it's like so I might as well make a tour someday or I could make another like mukbang video or something like that. Just let me know what you want to see. Love making videos that you guys enjoy too so yeah let me know. I probably have pretty interesting taste buds, I'm not sure. <laughs> the pickled plums and the, the octopus are more of the unique things I showed you, I guess. Probably everyone experiences something like pocky or fun drinks or mm, potato chips. But that's just me, so yeah. Let me know what you want to see. See you soon. Bye bye boo, love you guys.